Hello guys, welcome to Current Technologies. I'm Michael and in this video we will continue part 2 of uh, our tutorial Android paging library. So let me remind you about what we did in part 1. We did the project setup, we built the UI and we handled the web service. Now before we move on to paging library implementation part 2, there is a note that I want to tell you. Here in Books API Response class that we have created in part 1, please remove this abstract keyword from here so you can run your app without getting any errors. Okay, now we're gonna move to the Android paging library. I want to tell you that to implement the paging library, you need three classes. Data source, data source factory, and page list adapter. This page list adapter is for the recycler view adapter. Actually, it will replace the normal recycler view adapter with this page list adapter. Okay. So now here in the model package, create a new class. Call it books data source. Extends age kid data source. And here you should pass integer and books, which our books model, and the integer is for the page number. Okay. So Click here to implement the methods. Three methods load initial, load before, and load after. We implement them here. We will define some global variables. This constant is for the first page number. So I call it first page and I give it a value of 1 because it's the first page. Private query. Yes, query closure. We call it query closure. Here in this load initial method, here we will load the first page in our list. Just initialize the query module. API client dot get API client get API interface get programming books and we should pass the search query that we will receive from our user and then the page number which is this one. So let's do it. Dot get I don't know why it doesn't appear with this method 
here in query repository class get search query copy paste this is working fine and then first page in queue Here in the on response, we'll use the callback dot on result response dot body dot get books now for the previous page key. And for the next page key, we will pass the first page integer plus one. Just we forgot to make a check the if response dot body not equal to not. Okay, that's it for the load initial. Forget about the load before, it's not needed, not mandatory. Then we will go to load after. This load after will be called as much as the user scroll down to load the next page. So here we just copy the load initial, copy all this, and paste it here in load after. We will do some changes here. Remove first page and say params dot key. Cut to this line for now. Let's define integer. I will call it key equal Arounds dot key plus one and if response dot body not equal to null callback Look, on result pass response dot body dot get books and then here pass the new key that we have created. Okay, that's it for the data source. And now let's create the data source factory class. Here also in the model package, new Java class, books data source factory. And the parent class is data source dot factory. Implement methods. Here, let's define
mutable live data objects. Takes here. Now let's go to books data source again. Just copy all this. And paste it here inside this mutable data source, uh, mutable live data tag. And let's call it books live data. Equal new mutable live data. Here inside this create method, we'll initialize books data source. And then we use books live data. Books live data dot post value and pass books data source and then return books data source. So the last thing we're gonna do just create a getter for the books live data. Okay, and yeah, we are done with the data source factory. Now let's move on and create a view model. So for that, I will create a new package. View model. And inside this package, I will create a new Java class named Books list view model. Don't forget to add extend view model. Here we will create live data. So I just tag type page list inside the page list tag put books you call it books page list also create private Live data. Go here to the books data source factory. Copy all this. And paste it here. Put it live. Data source There's one tag missing and finally create a query object. Now let's create a constructor for that class.
create an object of books data source factory. Initialize the live data source, data source factory dot get books live data. Page list dot config, call it config. Equal new page list dot config dot dot builder set enable placeholders. To true because we're gonna use a placeholder in this example. Set page size, let's make it five. Dot build. And finally, books page list equal new. Live page list builder plus plus data source factory the config object dot build here now. Create the get method. This one. And create another public method. Void. We call it set search query. We will take a string as a parameter. We shall use a query pose object. Again, I don't know why this method is not readable. That's it for the view model. Last thing we're gonna create the page list adapter. So here, books list page adapter. Inside this class, as you as usual, we'll create another class, the view holder. We call it books list view holder extends H 
here we have in our list item we have an image view and three text views let me remind you this is our layout I don't know it's taking a long time forget about it let's create a constructor yes. and here we will define image view book image and text views Title Book ISBN and finally Book Price. Let's find these views. Just copy and paste to save time. Let's go back here to our main class and extend aged list adapter. So here in this tag, we will pass the uh, books model and the books view holder. Yes, this is let's implement the methods. On create view holder and on bind view holder, and we still need to create a constructor. And the on create view holder, let's create a view. Layout inflator parent dot get context dot inflate as a list item books list item parent and false. And here we go. New books list view holder and pass the view object. Okay. Here inside the on bind view holder. Create a book object.
no. Sorry for that. Get item. And pass it to the position. If the book is not equal to none. Holder dot book title dot set text book dot get title. Do the same for the price, ISBN and image. ISPN price get the price for the image we're gonna use Picasso Also, we're gonna use a placeholder to show a loading. We added previously in part one this loading image to show it until the image is loaded from the server. into our image the book image yes and that's it for the unbind view holder so now here in this constructor I want to tell you about this diffutil it's a library or a class uh, introduced by Google to simply update a recycler view when a new data is updated so we have to implement this diffutil in this class our adapter so let's remove it from here from the constructor go down yes just before this view holder class will create private static diffutil dot item callback pass uh, books inside the tag and call it diff callback okay equal New diffutil dot item callback here compare the old item. Here you have an old item of books and new item of books. We will compare them using the ISBN. The book ISBN acts as a book ID for us. So old item books get ISBN equal equal new item dot get ISBN here old item dot equals new item and to get rid of this uh, error just go to the books class and here down override the equals message and yes we are done 
just a semicolon here, don't forget to add it. We are done with our adapter. Finally, we're gonna go to our books list activity. We'll define our recycler view. We'll create an object from our view model class. And another object for our query. Here, if you remember from part one, we passed a string in our intent from the main activity to the books list activity, carrying the search query that the user entered in main activity. So from here, we will create intent object to receive the user input string in our books list activity. We'll say get intent. And we will check if this intent has extra. We should put the tag that we used in the main activity. Yes, search tag. Say query equal intent dot get string extra paste the search tag again. Okay. So now let's find our recycler view by ID. Recycler view dot set layout manager new linear layout manager and we pass this as a context. Recycler view dot set has fixed size true. Now let's create an object of our books list adapter. So let's say adapter equal new books list page adapter. And let's initialize our books view model. Equal view model providers dot off and pass this dot get books list view model dot class. And then use this books view model object to set the search query and pass the query string. Now with the books view model object, get books page list dot observe. Pass this and new, sorry, new observer 
appearance is unchanged. Say adapter dot sub sorry sorry again submit list and pass these books inside here. And finally, set the adapter to the recycler wheel. Now we are done coding. Let's run the app. I'm sorry, it's taking much time. taking longer than usual. Sorry for the delay. So here the app is running, I type Java, I click search, and yeah, I get list of books, and as you can see, as much as I scroll down, more data is being loaded. So yeah, our app is now complete. If you find this video helpful, please guys like and share. Also subscribe to our channel. You will find a link to the source code in the video description. Happy coding!